figure out what this life's about All the words I ever wrote Are to try and lose these worries And to find a little hope To visit Russell Anderson's farm in Botetourt County, one must first brave the swinging bridge over Craig's Creek. To say Russell's farm is isolated is an understatement. With no bridge access and the water level of Craig's Creek too high to ford much of the year, getting in and out of the farm can be tricky, unless you've been doing it for 69 years. As always, Russell is warm and welcoming and full of energy. He loves stories like the one of the first time he and Stacy met. It was Mark Holberg and I doing a um We had some other lady inspection. with you. you had oh, Katie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I backed into Russell's fence post and... Broke the gate post. Broke the gate post. And I hadn't even met him yet. And then we were coming back and I was like, Nice to meet you, Mr. Anderson. I just backed into your fence post and broke it. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to put a new gate post in. Yeah. <laughs> Russell didn't seem too concerned about it. <laughs> happens all the time. <laughs> Our first stop, the Anderson Family Cemetery. This cemetery, and another on the farm, is carefully maintained by Russell. To know Russell is to know the strong ties that bind him to his ancestors and this land they farmed. It's a nice rain, too. Yeah, two inches and two tenths. Oh, is that what That's you got? That's what I have, yeah. Well, you got more than some, I think. Probably. I yeah, two inches and two tenths. Yeah. It takes tremendous strength and faith to live and farm in this beautiful but remote place. Strength and faith seem to be an Anderson family trait. Russell's parents lost their first four children in childbirth. Flanked on three sides by Craig's Creek and on one side by Price's Mountain, the farm is a picturesque patchwork of fields and woods. It's been in the family for four generations. Russell grew up on this land. He remembers hearing stories of Ariskany being a far busier place thanks to the iron ore mines. So that's when it, so before it was kind of like a bustling town. And oh then, yeah, it was a boom town. They, had, then, they said he used to have five stores. Really? Five stores? Yeah. And they had a commissary at Lignay where I bought stuff and sold to the, the miners. Really? Yeah. Wow. And then so did the ore, did it just, it, it did just they peed, it peed petered out? out yeah. Yeah. Russell and Isaac, also known as Skeeter, work as a team to farm 800 acres of land. In the last few years, Isaac's help has been invaluable to Russell. They make a great team. But the wind will tuck me in as the crickets sing their hymns and the trees will be my shelter. See the moon shine through their limbs. There were things I once adored, but nothing moves me any. Who does the cooking? Oh, both of us. He put the beans on and I'll put the potatoes on. <laughs> Like many producers in Botetourt and Craig, Russell Anderson has participated in conservation programs. What sets Russell apart is his ongoing commitment to conservation. Many local producers have participated in multiple conservation practices, but the sheer number of practices Russell has participated in makes him stand apart. Since 1998, Russell has implemented 16 best management practices on his farm. BMPs such as revegetating former cropland, Planting a riparian buffer and installing fences to exclude cattle from Craig's Creek have all contributed to the district's efforts to reduce erosion and improve the water quality of the James River and its tributaries. One of the issues with best management practices is maintenance. For most cost share practices, landowners are required to keep them maintained and functioning for 10 years. This spring, we inspected a number of district practices that were beyond their 10 year lifespan. Of course, all of Russell's looked almost as good. As the day they were installed. Fence is uh, y'all's fence is still standing in the creek and you heard it. What year was that? Oh god, I don't want to. It's been about five years ago. Yeah. 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 Still standing. How often do the cows come over here? 
Oh, well, I'm going to get them over here in a couple of weeks now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I love the ways out in the winter. Nice. And it feed them in that thing. For Russell, utilizing conservation practices on his farm are about more than just protecting water quality downstream. It's about preserving the land and the only lifestyle he's ever known. The only one in the county left. The farms for a living. Farms for a living. There. Yeah. That's the steel will go farming. Did you ever think about leaving? No. <laughs> Why not? No. Why not? I don't know. It's just my home. I'm I don't want to leave. I've been here 69 years. I ain't thinking on leaving until they carry me out of here. <laughs> How can he leave? Named for the creek that surrounds his farm, his daily life is intertwined with the natural rhythms of a life well spent amidst the changing seasons on the farm and the constant presence of Craig's Creek. Now the top of this here mountain feels just like the ocean floor. My, my granddaddy's first cousin, a bunch of them went to Finn Johnson one time to a fire or something. They had them, you know, coconuts with the high on them, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, his first cousin, Mr. Stokes, had never seen one. Good damn, I never seen a good damn hey tater. So they started calling him Tater. His name was Henry, and they started getting the nickname Tater. But that's the way they talk. Good damn. I never seen a goddamn hairy tater. A hairy tater. <laughs> I didn't have the nickname Tater. That is hilarious. <laughs>